Hello, Namaste, Salam Alaikum, Sastrikal. Welcome back to another session with your war chef at warewar.com. With the dosa and its variation, one can write a book. When I did the basic dosa recipe on warewar.com, I told you I would come back someday and teach you some other variations. If you have not seen my basic dosa, stop this right now. Go back and look at my basic dosa first and taste it. Otherwise, you will not appreciate the awesome difference between them. Today, we are going to learn the variation of the dosa that we are going to use the semolina. In restaurant, we call it rava dosa. What makes this really popular is two things. First thing is the rava dosa, unlike the regular dosa, does not need to be fermented as a rule. It is therefore very easy to make and does not need to be kept overnight. So, therefore, if you have a craving for a dosa, this is the best bet. Secondly, the rava dosa gives a unique kind of crispiness that tastes so good in when you bite into it. Therefore, the consistency of this dosa appeals to many people and has gained its popularity. To make this rava dosa, we need one cup of uh, semolina, one cup of rice flour, half a cup of uh, all-purpose flour, salt, pepper powder, hing, hing powder, chopped green chili, chopped ginger, cumin seeds. Take an all-purpose flour, rice flour, that is semolina suji, salt, add pepper powder, little bit, little bit cumin seeds, chopped ginger, chopped green chili, little bit of hing, and mix all these ingredients. And it is as simple as this. Your batter is ready. All you need to do is add some water. I made this into a thin liquid. It looks like buttermilk kind of thin. You know, there is flour in it, the rice flour and all these ingredients. To make onion rava dosa, just sprinkle some onion on your pan. And how we made regular dosa? We poured the batter and made a nice round dosa. But this batter is so thin. So what we are going to do here is we are going to sprinkle. So just take a little bit with your hand and just sprinkle. See, when you sprinkle, it kind of forms kind of net kind of uh, thing. That's what is unique about Rava Dosa. Oh, it is totally zoomed in. So let me zoom out a little bit and see. Okay, now you can see how it is. So after this, you can put whatever you want to use, oil, butter, you want to use ghee. Man, I'm a ghee eater. So sprinkle a little bit oil. You can see what I, why I am doing this, it uh, nicely evenly spreads the oil. Ah, look at this. Even though you put it at a high heat, this doesn't cook as soon as uh, the regular dosa. Not only it doesn't cook fast, it doesn't even get color so easily. So don't worry, it won't burn so fast. So let it cook on a little medium high flame and, uh, and cook for a few minutes. Lot of times in the restaurants what they do, they slice the onion, hold it in the hand and rub the pan before they put the dosa because this onion has a tendency to make this pan as a kind of a non-stick pan and also gives nice flavor but for rava dosa with onion just sprinkle some onions and then put the mixture and these onions by naturally they act like a non-stick spray a lot of times when you think of dosa you think about soaking your urad dal rice making a batter soak it overnight and the next day when the batter ferments fully, you make dosa. Now think about it. When your kids come running home, mom, I want to eat something. This dosa, rava dosa. Very easy. Just take rice flour, suji, little maida, add little spicing. Mix it, boom, sprinkle on your tawa and you have your rava dosa ready. Okay. Now your dosa is ready. Look at this. Look at this. Mamma mia. Look at this. Ha. Ah, your rava dosa is ready. You can eat with any chutney, even serve it with the simple any pickle. Mm, mm. Wow. 
سبحان اللہ اوکے آئی فٹ ون مور دوسا آئی ایل شو یو ہاؤ ٹو پٹ اٹ جسٹ پرنکل جسٹ لائک دس آئی جسٹ وانٹ ٹو شو یو وائل اٹ از زوم ڈاؤٹ جسٹ پرنکل دا بیٹر Add some oil, ghee, whatever you think you want. Spatula on top so evenly distribute the oil. So, I hope you will try this rave dosa. Oh sorry, did I say rave dosa? I meant rava dosa. This is definitely rave. And tell me how you enjoyed this when compared to your regular fermented dosa. Now, when you go to a restaurant and see rava dosa, you won't be wowed because you can make better rava dosa at home in few minutes. So if you want to have very crispy dosa, what you can do? You kind of scrape the top of this uh, dosa batter and then you can get a really crispy dosa. So just with an excuse that I am showing you another dosa, <laughs> I will eat this, my next dosa, crispy. Wow, look at this, look at the color. Look at the color! I tell you, look at the color! This is called Rava Dosa. And remember that Vareva is all about eating fresh food and inspiring others to cook. So, please post your recipes and cooking tips so others may benefit from your great cooking. Thank you. Look at the color, man!